Welcome back to Midcaprera. In the last 15 minutes of trade, we've seen a very wild seesawing as far as the market action is concerned. The Nifty, at one point of time, you know, <coughs> went into the negative territory, recovered quite sharply, almost a 100-point recovery. And after that, now once again, trading near the day's lowest point. Uh, but let's now move on to a very interesting discussion. ICRA expects the road execution to grow 5 to 8 percent in FY25. It adds that execution momentum will sustain in FY25. We have Ashish Mudani, the Vice President and Co-Group Head, Corporate Ratings of ICRA, joining us now to discuss further. Good afternoon, Ashish. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, one particular complaint uh, that has been there as far as road activity is concerned is that uh, NHI ordering in FI24 was quite muted. So what do you have to say to that and what makes you optimistic as far as FI25 is concerned? Good afternoon, Vivek. Uh, well, there is uh, definitely a point regarding declining order book or order uh, awarding from NHI, but this is expected in all the election year. We have seen in FI14, uh, FI19 also a similar trend has been observed. But if you look at uh, the overall order book, which are which is currently there with uh, majority of the road contractors and developers, that remains uh, very comfortable. Uh, because of the good order book and also uh, strong outlay of the from the ministry, uh, we are expecting five to eight percent growth in FY25, and we, we are very confident on it. Because if you look at last year in FY24 uh, start itself, we have told that order will decline. And the decline is largely in line with what we anticipated earlier. At one point of time, we were expecting around seven to seven thousand five hundred order awarding. So overall awarding at the year end was actually higher than what we initially anticipated. So awarding was while it was expected to go down year on year, it still remained higher than what we have initially estimated. And if the current order book with all the road developers remain uh, pretty strong, and we are expecting the things to uh, ramp up quite substantially post. Uh, quarter two. So basically, quarter one is always a lean quarter. Quarter two, again, uh, because of the monsoon, the construction activity get hampered. And we expect a very strong ramp up again from quarter three onwards. Okay, so you expect a ramp up from quarter three onwards. So far in FY24, it was also impacted because it was ahead of the election season, as you mentioned. Uh, you know, the other thing that's happened, Ashish, is um, uh, road developers have said that intense competition is impacting returns. What do you have to say about that? Is there intensity in competition and is it something that would impact the entire industry? So, now you rightly uh, said, talked about the competitive intensity. Uh, our ICRA analysis also highlights the same thing. The, if you look at the discounting which is happening in the sector, uh, it's unprecedented. Uh, overall, uh, median discounting which is happening is almost 20% below the uh, authority base price. So the competitive uh, or competition remains extremely high. So if you look at the overall industry profitability also at the construction entities, uh, it is unlikely to go or rebound to the, uh, the pre-COVID level. So competition has significantly gone up. But at the same time, uh, the fund uh, or the working capital cycle remains very stable. The funds are coming timely from the authority. And that is one of the very uh, positive steps taken by the government during COVID times. And that has continued to support the cash flows of uh, uh, the road developers. Ashisha, one more question. You said that FY25, you expect uh, awarding as well as execution to improve over FY24. Uh, you also mentioned that, you know, in an election year, typically, or a pre-election year, you do see awarding activity moderate. So, now, Q1, you know, that we are in currently of FY25, uh, uh, given the fact that the election code of conduct is in effect, uh, we understand that ordering activity once again will come to a halt. Also, like you mentioned, you know, we are going into the monsoon season as well in a couple of months. So, do you think Q1 and Q2 could be a bit of a washout when it comes to road, uh, to the entire road sector? Uh Quarter one will be subdued, definitely, uh, Vivek. But we expect things to ramp up because uh, even in, during the monsoon, awarding activity will not get hampered because of the monsoon, right? Execution may get hampered. If you look at the last five-year track record or first five-year numbers, let's touch on some numbers. So quarter one, generally, the execution is somewhere around 20% uh, in the overall targets and 15% in quarter two. So the remaining almost two-thirds of the execution happened in quarter three and quarter four itself. And for the last year in FY24, 50% uh, of the execution happened in FY20, uh, quarter four of FY24. So the execution has significantly ramped up. And that's why we are confident that the things will continue to remain strong in FY25 as well. Uh, so yes. while awarding may be very muted in quarter one, 
but avoiding again once the new government is in place because uh, if you look at our recent commentary uh, ikra has highlighted that 45 uh, 1000 kilometers of project pipeline is already in, uh, there so which will ultimately get awarded we are also expecting a decent amount of uh, ramp up or uh, in in the toll projects also which will come at, if you will see in, in current year so if the overall pie if you look at earlier it was 75 25 or 70 13 in the uh, epc and ham we are expecting a toll also to a toll uh, awards also to go up significantly in the current year in f25 when you when you say significantly is there a number to that what is your estimate for toll collection growth and do you think it will be led by aggressive rate hikes or it will be led by wpi growth only wpi growth uh, hikes are very muted in the current year so it will be rather driven by uh, traffic growth so we are expecting ikra is expecting around 5 to 8% growth uh, in the toll collection in the current year okay okay you also mentioned you know a slight shift in terms of project awarding activity uh, so we understand that nhi also is now looking at changing the mode of awarding from epc and other such modes and largely now looking like you mentioned to the bot tolling now what is the reason for that and does that also ensure that there will be reduced competitive intensity does it keep a few smaller marginal players out of you know the larger projects competition is likely to remain high uh, vivek because there are good enough players uh, in the the large players also in the in the uh, segment so but again th- there will be demarcation the bot road projects which will be relatively larger in size will be taken by the much larger players who have much uh, uh, stronger financial flexibility and deep pockets uh, but if you look at the epc side we will continue to see a very strong uh, competition going forward also in fi25 Right, Ashish. Thank you so much for joining us with that take. So, FY25, the second half could be strong for the infrastructure and the, uh, the that particular space in terms of ordering activity and execution as well. That's what Ikra is saying. As we slip into a short break, remember to join us live today from 6 p.m. onwards for CNBC TV 18 Future Female Forward, the Leadership Circle, a transformative platform where women leaders come together to connect, express, and evolve. The circle of trailblazing women leaders from diverse fields will venture beyond the traditional discourse during the course of discussion. This leadership circle is not just about business strategies and professional accolades; it's about delving into the depths of the personal journeys these women have taken.